Hey, it's Joe Glines, and uh, I just wanted to introduce Selenium and say why it's important for, for us and AutoHotKey and users. Um, so Selenium, when you look it up, and if you go to the web page, it's incredibly confusing, but it's it's basically um, this t new thing called WebDriver. Well, maybe the WebDriver's not new, but the focus on it is they had this Selenium RC as well. It was very confusing, but um, what is Selenium and why do we care? Well, Selenium is a way that you can automate browser um, testing is the the main goal of what they what it's used for however with auto hotkey of course um, when you want to programmatically interact with your browser we're basically stuck with IE because of the com integration and and also that's going away with um, edge because edge does not have com built into it well auto hotkey can drive um, selenium so I think of it as is um, the the selenium the web driver architecture, if I understand it correctly, it's similar to COM is in that um, the web driver architecture is something the the browsers have taken on for themselves and they are incorporating into it and so it'll it's allowing a channel, a way for you to programmatically interact with a given browser um, and so send it um, send it keystrokes, send it you know um, information, rip information from it and um, Selenium is the main tool out there. I think it, it might have possibly been the one that created the whole process with WebDriver, but now the, the browsers themselves are taking it on and they are creating their own drivers. And so you can access um, different tools like Chrome, uh, obviously IE still, uh, Safari, uh, um, you can see how many browsers I use, Firefox, um, I saw a Windows Phone and this and that, right? If you wanted to use to automate those browsers, you can. Um, the one thing i got to say, so far at least, I have not been able to do is just connect with an existing version. So you have to have launched the browser with Selenium um, or the web driver. Um, the browser with the web driver is a better way to put it because um, I saw in Edge you can actually connect from Model Hotkey straight to the web driver without using Selenium. Um, but for the most part, the stuff I'm going to cover is how to basically um, start up Selenium, how to connect to Chrome and Firefox and IE, um, I shouldn't say Chrome, start it up and then interact with it um, to send it keystrokes, to extract data from it. It's similar in a lot of sense of the, the types of uh, methods and properties that you'd use are similar to what's in JavaScript, but they're often just a little bit different, and so it takes a little bit of work to, um, to get used to it. Thank you.